Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Adam Fugit, Adam Fugit versus J uh, Josh Quinlan. Josh Quinlan just went through an absolute beating, beating with Danny Barlow. Got finished for the first time in his career three months ago. I don't necessarily like him coming back early. Good thing for him, Adam Fugit, not a great striker. I don't care what his fucking... Uh, record must say at nine and four. You know, he has eight finishes in his career, three or five finishes to TKO or KO, three in the first round, two in the second round. Has been finished twice, uh, three times total, and twice with strikes. One and two in the UFC. Josh Quinlan hasn't looked great, even though he defeated uh, Jason Witt, as he should be the striker that he is. Jason Witt is very chinny. I'm um, surprised he wasn't knocked out more, to be honest, since then losing, getting beat up by Trey Waters. That's why the Danny Barlow fight, the Trey Waters fight really exposed to what Danny Barlow was able to do, and he was able to get the finish in round number three. Actually hurt Josh real bad in that third round with a broken arm, mind you. Um, Danny Barlow is a, spe a special, special talent. I hope he doesn't take a lot of punishment. Hopefully he's a little bit more clean in his next one. He has a tough next fight, but we'll, we'll see. I, I believe he's fighting uh, a little bit of a rant on uh, Danny uh, Barlow. He's fighting Euros Medic. He needs to be clean and sharp for that one because Medic is a sniper. But Josh Quinlan, uh, Adam Fugit, 9 and 4, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 1 and 2 in his last three. Basically a pick em fight, 35 to 31. Age is on Josh's side. 6'1 to 6 foot tall with a 77 to 72 inch reach. A uh, 5 inch reach is fans for Fugit. The good thing for that for Josh is Fugit is not good at using his reach. Never has been. Um, he can, can't keep his distance for anything at all. Did, fee, did defeat uh, uh, Kenosha, Kenoshida, Kenoshida. Did defeat him. But I don't know how much that really means. Got destroyed by Michael Morales. Showed some durability. Showed some toughness in that matchup. Short notice. But wasn't really that close fighting josh quinlan who i just don't necessarily trust did get his a contender series fight overturned against logan urban i believe it was uh the devil's lettuce but okay you know i don't know uh, not good i guess uh no contest there so he's 2-2-0-1 two, two, oh, in, in his last five fights on a two-fight losing streak both guys aren't necessarily great age like i said is on josh's side Adam might just be able to find good situations in this matchup just because he's going to grapple. He's going to make Quinlan work. If he, if he strikes with him, Quinlan's going to have uh, the more power on his shots. I just think Adam gets away with not being good in this one because Quinlan is so one-dimensional. Not a great fight. It sucks that this is opening up the card. There's a, a, a virtual Jekka you could put in front. Yeah, a bunch of them. But Adam Fugit will be your winner. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you guys are picking. Peace.